Go by SVS News News Climax and this program is News at its Climax. Let us quickly look at what we have on the page of uh, Punch Newspaper. So what we have here is saying CBN, Fab Relocation, presents the other staff in the Mr. Lucky, you understand that the CBN has said they are moving the Department of CBN from Abuja to Lagos. And the department is banking supervision. And they say the reason is because almost all the headquarters of commercial banks are in Lagos. And uh, they are the one, the supervision, or those are uh, department, the department has the responsibility to supervise the, those commercial banks are going to work with. That is better than closer to people they want to work with. And in people have come out to say, if they do it, that they want to shorten the loss. In people is a senator from Brunel State. And he featured in China Television program the other day, where he said he believed that the president of the Abdullah Tunubu is being misled, but that he believed that Tunubu is going to change that decision. But that if Tunubu refuses to take the decision, that it comes with political consequences. And we understand that another election is coming up in 2027. Are we going to see a situation where if the president refuses to revise that decision, the North will not vote for him? Uh, good morning, my brother. God bless you. You see, I don't know why what we need, this is we need, the need, the need now, not to location. Some of the saints you see to back to Lagos. Lagos is already congested. Whatever the explanation that I'm going to give, it's baseless. I won't tell you lie. You mean it's baseless? It's baseless. One, for eight years now. All these things have been in Abuja. The, the excuse that government gave is this. They only give you excuse. For eight years, why have been power? Was any complaint by CBN or all these uh, managers? Where is the seat of power? Is it in Abuja? So you are supposed to be not, Mr. Lock. What I'm saying, that is not what we need now, generally. But you are supporting the government. Yes, supporting. But another thing is that if President relocated some of the agency to to Lagos, so automatically that is the they turn NPC back to Niger Delta. Wow. I can see some Niger Delta people are coming out to say yes. Let them relocate any piece. Where we have most of this oil coming to Nigeria money, it's on Niger Delta. Let Tulubu relocate. Uh, NFPC to Niger Delta. That is a way of restructuring the country. It's going gradually. I get it. That is it. So, Dume is right. After all, they voted for Tunubu. Tunubu did not win the election in Lagos State. I get it. I'm they are working put him there. So, they have right to tell him, my brother. All this you are doing is a way of putting a quarter back to, to Lagos Park. I don't understand. So what do you have to talk uh, say about uh, the aviation industry? I think Federal Airport, Airport Authority, they want to relocate the quarter to Lagos. You see, they are relocating Abuja to Lagos, indirect. Whether relocating one or two or three agency, indirect, relocating Abuja to the fire do Don't forget, the president have already given money to uh, agents, uh, this uh, uh, the house of uh, as called state house, five billion for innovation. Are you aware? Apparently, president can come and stay six, six months or two months in uh, Lagos. So he's trying to get federal capital back to Lagos. That's what he not me. I get me. And you know, Tulu is very smart. So they have, they, 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 the only person that can tackle him. We did not be used. We said, we do it. But that is very strong. Mr. Alok, let me take you to what Afani Fere is saying here. He said, Afani Fere, Afani Fere demands state police. Do you think we are right for state police? We are right to override. So I know you are security experts. Yes. The way Nigeria is, considering the crisis in the two, in Karaba, in Benue, in Southern Kaduna, you think we need uh, state police? Yeah, we need state police. But most of these uh, killing are politics. politics. Like the one that happened in Kratu State. Since the day that government came to power, they didn't like it. Because it's PDP. 
and as I that's the politics. I call it politics. And if you have ever seen that people are near time to gain ground everywhere. And as I mean, so for me, people need to up and do it. Not only the north, everywhere is not safe, including Lagos, including the south east, south south. So the tension is too high. So if the North agrees to a new thing after all, the heat politics to move away with Jonathan, be supported by this uh, present government, the present now. You don't forget, they supported the North of uh, the Niger Delta man. So today, people will be serving in your share. So I don't have the so issue of state police. After all, do we have, we have vigilante to protect your state? Most of these community are busy by vigilante. I don't know police. I was, I was going there because as we speak, there is Amateku in the southwestern part of the country. Do you support Amateku to carry arms? What I mean, as I'm talking about like AK-47, AK-49, do you support it? I support it. That is the law that we support. That's our point. You cannot expect someone from Baraku to come and pull it uh, uh, AKT. Look at what it don't be possible. Let me carry it well. If the bandit people are not carrying a machine gun, so you expect on the matter for a vocabulary. So let me see, let me tell you. Why is country with a problem? It's not good that people are not working. But I'll be like, I do. You know what I'm asking you, President, because I know you're a security expert. Yes. You know, under Mohamed Buhari, he refused to allow state police. When he saw that the agitation was going high, he introduced constabulary police. Yes. Who is just like uh, neighborhood yes. police. Yes. 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 Do you think constabulary police is what we need, or proper state police? Proper state police. How can you ordinary battle? How would you battle? Somebody has an AK-47. What will you do? So he sat up. You see, a security man has to be with one. They have to be with weapon. If you see weapon, you fear. I get you. Now, somebody, a senator was saying that they should give all the gear a gun to protect yourself. I get you. No, you kick it against that. Now, it's a group of agencies. But when you now put army, put police, they are guys. You see, see some of these agency police, they, they are paying attention on the VIP. We don't have them. We've got to be the first policeman. we go. So what do you expect? And plot those who are idle, who are not working. Put them as a state police. Let me tell you, if Tunuku can come out and say, I want to touch on this company, Nigeria, people will believe it. Touch on this uh, hiding way of protecting the No, no. Come out and say, Who is hiding? He's hiding. Yes, he's in that now. Let him come out and say, Now, I promise to research on Nigeria. But this is what I'm doing now. But do you think the Tunuku have a Yoruba agenda? But the way they look at seeing that, they are not seeing it. Agenda. That's why they use the Not only Jumeirah, some other three people from the men in the north attacking Tunubu. That he has is very smart. He's trying to relocate uh, a first quarter to a quarter. That is the capital to Lagos. He has not happened before now. Where is the ATM? You don't do that. I can, they are rotating back. Tomorrow, that's why you know that. You relocate police a quarter to, 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 to Lagos. Why you know that? The army. So what they are they're looking at the guy is very smart. So they are not they have to start correcting it that if you do this, they're gonna be ten for years. Four years you confirm you know. They will give you a, but don't think I'm doing a hour to change to check in the whole process. He has it. Don't forget. Don't manage the move the president. Don't forget. I did not tell him with back it. I did not tell him with back people. You know, Duba has power, he has, he has power. That's everything. Don't forget, they are the ones that put Tunubu there. Tunubu did not win Lagos. You know that. And you know, so they are and Bosnia Wike who sell a river state to Tunubu. So now, if Tunubu should try anything, contrary to the North, they will like it. They will rather pass him. And I don't think they can even wait for 2027. They might cause one anarchy. All this we are saying. You should kidnap me, you should listen. It might be a, a dog who is doing that to use the political way to, 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 to destroy his government. That's how they destroy the Nathan government. You don't forget, they only use Boko Haram, chief of death, to destroy the Nathan government. Not that we're not doing well. Not that the other we're not doing well. That's a good economy. Everything was okay. Just that, but that incident, they kidnapped all the guests. That the the some yobas left at Tunubu, Bakare, Seika, and some other people. They they propose violation. I was having occupied Nigeria. That's how they removed that. Today Tunubu is there. Insecurity, economy, nothing can put up light. 
not hunger, dollars, everything. Nobody's talking. So, for the note to rise up, I support it. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Amin, yes. these are news climbers. Right. And this program is news at these climbers. <laughs> so, let us quickly look at the new leadership of EFCC. Before now, since the national, this national democracy, Nigerians have been accusing the FCC of not doing enough. Because we understand that in most cases they don't do, do diligence before arresting and prosecuting um, persons who are presumed to be corrupt. Now we are seeing a new leadership. We are seeing a level of gender protection from our civilian government. We are seeing this current, um, the former yeah, government of Anna Bosse, Obiano, he pleaded not guilty to four billion yeah, no. allegations. Mm. And we are, see, we are seeing the yeah. SEC knock at the door of Dangote. Yeah. So, what is the assessment of this new relationship of the EFC? Uh, um, thank you for having me. Um, thank you for all of your students. Please can you subscribe and share. Okay, well, for me, I don't. I think it's too early for me to start evaluating the new FCC chairman because ever since he came on board, I don't think he has able to score any. Uh, he has been able to score any significant, um, you know, recovery. Because are we looking at recovery or prosecution? No, prosecution is not the issue. He has to be able to recover. Because I haven't prosecuted, where are the evidences? Don't forget that the Minister of Justice, which is wrong, I can't forget it, I can't recall his name now, during his nomination interview, the Senate, he said, you will work on, on bond videos, and we should have the investigative harm and the reward for prosecuting harm. Before you prosecute people, most, most of the time, they don't have their evidences on ground. Now, this issue of video by no if for any instance that you are picking him up, you should have every evidence that is beyond a reasonable doubt that this guy is truly what indicted. But in this issue now, we go to the court of law, and at the end of the day, really, they are no, might just come out, you know. So most of the time, he has still like, I can't give plenty of dollars. And I'm not disappointed. Okay, look at the issue of Dangote. What came out of it? Was there anything significant? When you had a web there, such probably a Dangote for $10 for the past uh, five, six years, he demanded for his last uh, 10 years record of the dollar transactions he had. When they gave it to them, okay, at the end of the world, was there anything substantial? What is substance in your prosecution? So, you don't prosecute without you getting evidences that are beyond reasonable doubt. That is how it is done everywhere. Before Oshibapi was apprehended to prosecute the chief FBI in America, many years, at least about three years, to garner data information that are in that. And at the end of the day, when they prosecuted him, they brought out all the evidences. So there was no issue on him. Maybe uh, Benny himself, maybe the master of adjoining cases. The case of William Biano, <coughs> EFCC and ICPC are all to work together. Is there evidence? Because ordinarily, we should have, the evidences should be flying around. Okay? If EFCC truly have the evidences to indict Obiano, that evidence, I am sure, Sarah Reporter must have lifted to the public. But there's no evidence. On the issue of data, I mean, on the issue of Dangote, it's more or less like yes, is following the uh, social media, you know, uh, trial. Because it is a well-known fact that people were saying that Dangote collected over $3 billion uh, from a made billion. These are social media, uh, you and know, speculation. speculations. And the AFC decided to jump on it. Okay, where is the evidence now? You just went there to try and pay some back. So you see, I think, as of now, I am not impressed. Under the new uh, leadership of the chairman, they are not doing anything special. Suddenly, so they must have investment. Are you saying it's coming business as usual? Yes, it is. EFCC is all about recovering money. EFCC is all about recovering money. They said they have recovered to something billion from a uh, former woman or, or, or for the humanitarian affairs. Okay, the of yeah, okay. Now, how true is that? Well, I mean, we need to see. I say you don't have confidence to in believing the statement from PSC. Let me, let me tell you, when it comes to fight against corruption, 
it needs to be transparent. It's evidence based. It needs to be transparent and evidence based. The people must see how this money is being covered and how it has been paid. The, you are calling transparency. It is undoubtedly, and I'm, I am querying that. And I don't feel we have this place in the gallery for everybody to think they are actually fighting against. Look at, look at Betadu now. What is the case of Betadu? What are that money now? Okay, what, what's going on with her? There are so many ministers. Look at Adi Serika. Adi Serika, the former minister of aviation, made a drama on all of us. He brought a plane and then they did us, you know, a, a, a show. So the show, show of shame. Okay, where are the evidences? The EFC are not supposed to be heard. When they are going, when they are undergoing, this is what they do. What the EFC mostly do is this. You, this thief, we are coming to catch you. We are telling you ahead so that you can, you know, probably hide the, the trails and then indicting documents. And when they now come, we are, where is it? We are at IIT. We are giving us your uh, well, It's not the We must have gone somewhere to bury it. But this is the situation EFC is actually taking us to, and I don't think. Uh, and um, yeah. uh, it's, I mean, it's encouraging. And thank you very much, Ali. But finally, let me take it to what is happening here. Uh, PDP Labour Party asks questions on Tunubu's France private business. Do you think PDP Labour Party are justified, are right, to start asking questions about his personal visits? Do you understand that the former president, um, his predecessor, Mohamed Bouhari, is uh, known to jump around the world? Do you think PDP Labour Party are justified to start asking questions? Under Buhari, we knew why he always went to UK was because of medical tourism. Of course, for his medical health checkups and all that. And the same thing happens to Tinubu. But there's no information as to his... Of course, of course, they concealed that information. But do you think... Let me tell you, 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 the information, and then the way to play politics and opposition politics is very straight and direct. You have every right to you have every right to what? To track your president wherever he goes. It's so you have right to ask questions. Not only ask, even to track him. To leak where he went. But you see that the question the, the, the problem is Labour Party and PDP are so divided, so they can they don't have the will without to challenge this current administration. And it is not helping our democracy. Labour Party and PDP are supposed to have a very solid investigative journalist who will have the spread of the tentacles across all the continent of this world. They should be able to track the president. Even right from where he goes. Now that he's outside the shores of Nigeria, they should be able to track him right in that part. When he lands, they should have investigative journalists that okay, this is where he's going to. And then they think that what he has to play politics. Do you think if Donald Trump goes to China? I mean, I said Joe Biden. If Joe Biden goes to China for medical, do you think Donald Trump would have people that have gone there? Or oh, then look at Joe Biden has gone to this people for medical policy. Those are the things we are supposed to do. But unfortunately, I am a fan, I supported uh parliament. But more importantly, I am a Nigerian first. So my interest is to my country. I can decide to come out here and abuse, castigate, you know, against the current administration. It is not working towards the interest of my own world expectation. But briefly, before I let you go, briefly throw light into your position with respect to the plan of CBN to locate the department of the institution, I'm talking about banking solution and the um, Federal Apport Authority. Um, authority. To Lagos. In Duba, so it has political consequence if the president does not add them to the vast. Uh, well, you know, we've always known Ali to be a man of, of conspiracy, and he is a man that likes to agitate, push for his own selfish interest. Uh, you know, it is a record that Ali Duba's daughter works in the city. And of course, whatever he says is just being personal and it's just being selfish. The office of CBN was built way back as 2012. 
2012. And our office is vacant. Meanwhile, the office of CDM in Abuja is congested. And the monitoring team in Abuja on an annual basis checks an excess of TTA, digital allowance, that is telling a toll on the balance sheet of CBN. Now, it is better for CBN to get accommodation for these guys, relocate them to Lagos State, and then they, are, they must resume to the office in Lagos State. So, there's no big deal. But you say Ali and Dube is only trying. Ali and Dube is only trying. Are you worried that is taking the political dimension? Ali Dube is no. Are you worried? I'm not worried because Ali Dube to me is insignificant. Let me tell you why. Because the spokespeople for Buhari and of course ordinary Southerners and Tinubu, sorry, the spokespeople for Tinubu, and then just ordinary you know Nigerian people. Mrs. Valley from the South will support that move. Because what is the benefit CBN has given to the North? And more so, Abuja is a nomad's land. Ali Dube cannot come out here and start saying Abuja belongs to the North. No, he said he's speaking because he's a Northerner. Is he's not speaking okay. because he's not does, Ab does, Ab does, does Abuja belong to the North? Today we have the Navy headquarter in Kadu. Do we have any stream that stretches out to one kilometer in Kaduna? I question the rationale. I say, why not use uh, perhaps Natarawa, Kaduna, or Okay, the... do we have any massive structure of CBN in all those three states in Nigeria? No, I'm only quoting him. No, I am asking him. I am also asking him. You see, these guys, they were only played on the intelligence of the Northerners. These are the people that push ethnic bigotry. They push ethnic biases. He has the temerity to say that there will be political consequences. To hell with your threat. But I don't think the North will buy into that. If they buy into that, it's only it's only a show and a reflection of their of their gullibility. And if they are gullible to the extent that they buy into it and it came with the same political consequence, what do you think will happen in 2020? And that is my prayer that the North will actually buy into it. Because as it stands, we understand that we are at the brink of national, you know, divide. And I would expect the North to agitate, come out, protest, so that they can actually push the current administration to its ab initio belief that Nigeria shouldn't be what it practices. I believe that if they come out and they protest, they get to a state of almost anarchy, will eventually go back to the regional system, and uh, of which every one of us, including you, as we are doing I mean, that perhaps may even uh, push me to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Some persons have argued that Mr. President Senator Ahmed Bala Tunubu has ideology of restructuring through federalism. And that since he has uh, sent that office, his body language have not shown that he is want to want to pursue that um, agenda. It is true that uh, Bala Ahmed Tunubu has always, you know, been an advocate of devolving and decentralizing, you know, this highly concentration of power at the It is true. I am, I am even more surprised and disappointed that he has not started pushing for it. But don't forget that this agenda cannot be pushed without the support of the legislative house. There was a conference that was held just shortly when this president was inaugurated. Remember he had it, I think it was in State or Lagos State. Remember he told that Nigeria needs to be restructured. But he cannot do it alone. He said it. He said, yes, Nigeria needs to be restructured. But this is a, a mission that he cannot go alone. But do you think the National Assembly is standing as an impediment? Because we have a situation, have a situation where they supported the likes of Nduma, sorry, the likes of uh, Senator Abbas, Abbas, as senior president and rep speaker respectively. And as we speak today, both of them have emerged leaders of the two legislative parties. So what is his impediment? What is his um, what are those obstacles? Well, 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 it's the impediment agenda. actually at the Northern Senate. And then some greedy Southern Senators. Honorably, the Southern Senators have always advocated for the government of powers. Have you heard the voices of the Niger Delta Senators? Because we know that the South South Senators and the South East Senators have always said that we need to go back to our regional system. Have you heard any one of them in the National Assembly speak about it? This shows you that 
The problem we have yeah. restructuring this country is not actually the person. It has always been the senators. Let me take you and back. You know the Buhari regime. Buhari wanted to debuff, he wanted to issue the uh, local government autonomy. You know those are for Sudan. The governors are the national assembly members. No, I'm aware, I'm aware. You understand? So, this is the best time for us to have restructuring. But this will not be achievable if the people do not rise up. Because the people are the ones that have to fight the National Assembly. If you leave the National Assembly as they were, they will not want to, uh, to actually what? Say yeah to uh, restructuring. SCF, which is the Iowa Council Forum, the man that went to the TV for interview, he said that they are ready for restructuring. But the question is, are his own senators, are they ready? Are they not playing this service? Is, when they say they are ready? Because I, I was... No, I don't think they are playing this service. Right. Because, no, no, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because now the Iowans have now come to terms that they are even more richer than the South. But let me tell you why, sister. I was very experienced with the North. I serve in Jigawa State, and uh, there's what they call buy IT. I know you know the meaning, no one. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. Yes. So if you're opposed to local government there in, in, um, in Jigawa, you don't go to work because there's virtually no activity going on in local government secretariat. They believe in sharing resources once it comes at, comes at the end of the month. And these resources, we know how it's being distributed from national. Every month, state governors gather in Abuja to their respective accountants generals to share money from FAC. So, do you think they will be ready to lose that money? I think now they are under the name. Now, under I, the now, name. I, now, I, now I think they are more than ready because now they understand that they are the food basket of the nation. There's one thing every region needs to have, which is self awareness and self, you know. Some understanding of their work. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly, not part of Nigeria is the most richest in terms of the Ireland, in terms of solid minerals. The north they have what we call little. The north they have abundance of gold. They have the abundance of, you know, granite, marble, clay. So it's all about having that full understanding. I believe that if we can go back to our confederation kind of system, confederation whereby the center is less powerful, yes, the state will still revolve, they'll still return money back to the, to the center. But in this time, it will now be 30 70. The federal government will collect 30. Yeah, the central will collect 30, while the state will have 70. And then the state will have that their own unique security architecture. Every state should have. Listen, these are solutions that we should have adopted since 19, uh, 1999. Only under our solution, this is what we should have done. Plus, as a then, it would be more acceptable. People would have, you know, would have grown and grown out of it by now. You get my point. So, I believe we, the people, we need to wake up, rise up, and push the Senate to actually push this to fruition because we cannot continue like this. Seems like now that where that all is going to fix, those guys are more important than people who are in Kano They are more important than people that are in Lagos. But what the current uh, PIA, Petroleum Industry Act, that give them, I think, 4%. Yeah. 4% of their operational expenses. The government, through MNPC, will, will implement it. And lastly, instead of giving that money to state governments yeah. in the oil producing areas, some people have argued that it would be better if you go directly to the host communities. What is your opinion? How, how, how do you want to go to the host communities? Should you go to the others or go to the council? Don't forget we have the NDDC commission. The NDDC, since its inauguration, they have collected over seven trillion. Together, since the inauguration of NDDC, they have received seven trillion from the and the money is not showing in the in the and NDDC is supposed to be the a representation a, a, a representation of a common entire development. I was in a five well, The only thing I saw, the structure I saw, was they were doing mini balls. It's unfortunate that they cannot do a well standard tertiary hospitals, a well standard 
vocational training centers, the West Standard Primary Schools. It's a shame that seven children has been paid into the covers of LDDC and nothing has been can be shown for it. And yet the mental delta cannot hold them. Let me tell you, the question we have, listen, the problem we have in this country is everything lies on our hands as a citizen. Do you know that even if, if we eventually go back into the regional system of government, some states will still be under the bondage of their governors. Because some governors will still not deliver until the people now rise up. You get my point? So I heard my fellow Nigerians that yes, we need to put our destiny into our hands. Uh, our president is in France, white people in Plateau were just being killed just two days ago. That's why the coffee. And there's no massive protest. There's no massive march right now in the government house. How much more can we be tolerant? I don't think this is tolerant. I, this. I think now we are now a very um, people, set of people that have to go around you. I think you have never been unsure of Nigeria. Yeah. 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 More than what is happening currently. I don't know about the good cooking. Yes, I share that. Not briefly because we have... Uh, yeah. you see, there's a reason why the yeah. yeah. is not... I don't think it's a part of the camp. Yeah. No, he should, he should. I don't think he is. The community. Yes, but I don't think he's part of the executive. No, uh, because the yes, there's a reason. Because they know he's a charismatic and he's a man that says it. And doesn't care whose office is God. Machu Ma Kuka wasn't part of the kind of uh, people that want to visit the president. Because if he was part of them, he, he, told him. he would have told him the truth. The point is, Kuka said, we need to go back to what? Our whole race. Before 1960, that was when we recorded the highest level of, you know, of development as a nation. And it, that was when we enjoyed the best when it comes to peace. Because everybody faced its region uniquely. Nobody cared. But that means stop people coming from other region. Because I could remember the old glory days. It was only the Western region that was having free education. And people came from other regions even to come and join. You know what I'm So we need to be able to control our resources as a state or as a region. We should be able to show we, because this issue of we are concentrating on the center is not working. The local government channels don't have autonomy, and every month they collect nothing less than 200 to 300 million. And they just cut away because we are all focused on the national. The situation where we will back back to population, we understand that our state government, okay, that's what three or one billion are making on a monthly basis. Seven hundred million is for you. Very well, that's a we will get that to understand because as it is, we cannot. We Nigerians have failed to understand how this, you know, centralized democracy works. And I don't think you ever get it. Thank you very much, Thank you very much.